sure do enjoy a good fire. Whew, although I've not always needed it, as I do now. Uh, this is actually keeping us hot. Today it is a nice chilly minus 14 this morning when we woke up, or maybe even colder. Um, and it's not really what I was used to as a child. I was actually born and raised in Papua New Guinea, which is an island just north of Australia. And I went to an international school there until I graduated and moved back to Canada where my parents were from to go to university. At university I studied mathematics and computer science and was fortunate enough to meet my wife, Hannah Lee, uh, who was studying music. And she became a music teacher and I became a math and computer science teacher. And uh, she also has become a, more recently in the last five years or so, a vegan chef and is continuing her journey in that area, which is great because I love to eat. Uh, in fact, I live to eat, not eat to live. I just love it. So I'm very fortunate there. And she runs a catering business called Black Cat Kitchen, which I'll put a link to in the description. And the reason it's called Black Cat is because we have had black cats for, well, I think the second ever since, yeah, for many years, over 25 years now, we've uh, shared our house with black cats. And more recently, most recently, we've taken in these two brothers, which you can see here. And uh, we, fall, we fall in love with them and in general just love animals. Um, speaking of passions and loves, I, I love sports, basketball uh, in high school, volleyball, and then uh, soccer as I got older, and then I always enjoyed uh, two wheels and racing, uh, bicycles like BMX bikes and mountain bikes and still ride, and even recently in the last five to ten years uh, taking up motocross riding with my nephew um, he's gone way faster than I am now but I still enjoy it and have a blast and in the winter because it's so cold and I can't get out and ride my bike so on my motorbike uh, this year we decided to get GTs and here's some clips of Zach and I GT on his property a lot of fun when we race. Uh, as well as that I have uh, a real passion for traveling and making music. We taught for three years uh, in Singapore, three years here in Canada and then uh, we spent six years in Turkey where I met Caleb and we started a band called Be Liar Birds and had a lot of fun making two albums since then and uh, here's a little clip of a concert that we put on in 2014 uh, for a charity
Along with that, after teaching in um, Turkey, we went to Papua New Guinea, and um, that was kind of special. We taught there for one year, Hanley and I did. And uh, yeah, it was a special time to be dropped off there in the middle of nowhere. And you see that plane take off, and uh, it was just her and I and the school that live in that, that valley. Uh, and it was special to be able to see that as an adult and to share that with my wife, so uh, with her, with Annalie, so a lot of fun. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, And uh, as far as my other, I uh, could carry on with my love of music. After we got back from New Guinea, I uh, took up, took some time off, and just started to do more design work and some uh, mixing and recording. And my favorite, besides of course doing our own, uh, my favorite. Thing to do there so far, tasks that I've done and been involved with, project that I've been involved with, uh, is uh, Larissa and Zach's album, Wildwood Soul, uh, January Moon, and I'll put a link in the description for that, as well as a, a video that Larissa put out recently, um, which is a lot of fun and it's worth checking out. Uh, yeah. And so the question is though, really out of all of that, those things that I'm passionate about, and I've spent time uh, learning, I, uh, actually I should say I'm passionate about learning as well, which is why I became a teacher in the first place. And uh, because there's always some learning and just the encouragement of learning, and yeah, it's just great. Uh, but why? The question really is going to be why guitars, you know, why is guitars what I seem to be settling on at this age and this stage of my life? And uh, if you want to find out, check it next week. I'm going to talk about why Red 13 is doing guitars. Okay, peace.